So, I didn't find anything. Alright. I got it. Alright, I got several. Those are really good. Um, so, I had to go to work. It was getting, it was almost eight. And Julie stopped at another garage sale and got me this stuff. It's a, uh, like, fog distribution thing that comes out the pumpkin's mouths, which is going to be awesome since I need a bunch of pumpkins this year. So there will be three with fog. And this really cool... Vulture. Vulture. Buzzard. Or buzzard. I always get those yeah. confused. But it actually had two of the fog systems. This one's with the little tombstones, but um, I'm only going to use this one. And then... I actually stopped at one, and I got this uh, forensic head, and it has, it's a whole kit. It has clay and clay, sculpting tools and everything, so you can um, reconstruct someone forensically. Pretty cool. And this display cabinet, which is really nice, to display some... Of Julie's treasures. Right, Bubba. All right, where are you going? Dancing in Alice and Kane's house. Oh, you're so cute. Love you. Love you. All right, people. Just picked up something from a friend's house. What could it be? I know one thing. It's for Halloween. All right, got them in the house. All right, people. So now I will show you what is in the tubs. So, of course, I'm doing, you know, you guys have been seeing me search for pumpkins. So, bam. Three tubs completely full of pumpkins. Isn't that right, Wolfie? Yeah? Yeah? Look, Wolfie's growling and hissed just now while I'm filming this. Wolfie's what? Wolfie just hissed and growled. She hears me, come on. I know. She's so mean. <laughs> so, three things in three tubs of pumpkins. So, Wolfie, I don't have to look for any more pumpkins, do I, at garage sales? These belong to Jason and Allison of Dark Phobia. Um, these, well, some of these they probably had. But most of these used to be mine, and I stopped using them, and um, this year I need them, so they let me borrow them. So, pretty awesome. And I guess since I already have you guys, Julie says I should come film what we have. We got another cat, but he doesn't feel good right now. That right, Ichabod. This is Ichabod. He is a lover. He is so sweet. He's four years old. We got him from the Austin Animal Center. He is cute as can be. His name is Ichabod. That's his new name. Isn't that right? So they gave us medicine. We gave it to him this morning. And so we got to keep him isolated from the other cats. So he's up here in a room by himself for right now. Because um, he's got about five or six more days. Ooh, did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Yep. He's wheezy. So we got to keep him away from the other cats. And he wants out. He wants to come socialize. All right, so I have a tub in the living room that is pretty much complete. They, the lights work, and I have converted them into creepier-looking faces. You know, a lot of them look like this. Um, some of them were normal, regular-looking jack-o'-lanterns, but there's so many goofy faces. And then a lot of them are, even some of the ones that were already creepy, they're they're all separated, you know, just over time, I guess they've, they've come apart. So, I mean, just about well, the majority of them. So 
just to show you guys three that one separated four five and then look all these have the seams have come apart and need to be corrected or fixed Woo! that's going to be a lot of work all the ones in the living room are whole they're not separated but these Basically, I'm like, man, how am I going to separate, put these together? I think I've tried hot glue before. It doesn't really stick. So I'm going to attempt to use great stuff. Um, I know all hunters, all Halloween people know what great stuff is. But for some of you that may be watching this video that don't, it's this stuff. Get it at any hardware store. It's super sticky, awesome stuff. And uh, it's actually what I made making my tree stump over there with. Currently working on that. Just spray a little bit of the, that on the seams, stick them together, put some tape on it to hold it together. Once that dries, that should be a really good tight bond. So I'm going to have to do a lot of repairing on these uh, to have enough pumpkins. And then, like I said, still some carving to do. Um, I don't have one out here to show you, but what I did on some of them is if the faces were not... Let's say I couldn't convert this into a creepy face. Like, there's no way to recarve it to give it a creepy face with that goofy smile. What I was doing is drawing it on the backside, carving it, and then I'm going to fill this with great stuff and then sand it back down. So this will be the new front side of the pumpkin. So that's a good way to convert them. You know, even if you go, oh, I don't want that pumpkin. It's goofy looking. Get it, and then you can convert it, and it's as good as new creepy scary pumpkin so all right the work must continue all right i got all the faces matched up with the back these i couldn't find a match for or they're just this one's like missing the top piece um and some don't really match up to any of the backs so those i can't really fix but that's quite a few um i got some of them are pretty broken. It's like two or three pieces, but I'll get that put back together. And then some of them, the faces, I'll have to recarve. Uh, some are okay, like regular jack o' lanterns. Like this face is good on this one. That face is probably fine. That one's good. That one's good. I'm gonna have to recarve two or three of those. And then um, these I have to fix, or this one just needs a light in it. This one needs to be fixed. And then these three need to be fixed. And then I've got like two more inside the house. So I think that'll be good. That'll be plenty. Um, and then, you know, I've got several pumpkins in there. That tub's got pumpkins. There's pumpkins in there. Those are the ones I've been finding at garage sales. And then I had a, a couple of my own. So anyway, got to get all these uh, gorilla, or gorilla glued. Um, great stuffed and carved. And then, of course, after I do all that, I'll corpse some of them, paint some of them and uh go from there every single one of them will have a light i counted the uh, light fixtures that are left some might need new bulbs but i gotta get all those installed as well and then i want and then i want to figure out a way to um probably paint the cords black or cover them in black somehow i know if you use glossy paint on them it makes them sticky and it's a pain in the butt uh i need to look up to see how to i might just paint them with uh latex paint and then it won't be sticky. All right, people, I'm excited. I got myself a new fan. Ooh, it feels good. <clears throat> All right, got my great stuff. Got my glove on. I'm gonna do these next, but first, <clears throat> I'm gonna do these uh, body frames with some great stuff to give them some texture before I paint them. So, let's get started. Alright, so got this guy. I don't know how good the light is. Woo, light's bad. Got the great stuff on this guy. Tried to sort of make some feet. Those look kind of goofy, but maybe I could trim them down. This one, the frame came apart as I was bringing it up here. So I just went in and did it in pieces. Um, worry about putting it together later. I still need to do a base like that on this piece so it stands up. Um, had a little bit of gray stuff left, so I stuck this pumpkin together. 
and stitched this one together with the great stuff. We'll see how well this holds. And then tried something out. I broke some sticks, put some gray stuff on it for a hand for these guys. They need to be longer, big, long, way longer twigs. I just all I had was these right now. I just wanted to kind of try this out with the gray stuff, um, and see how that works. I need to have them real thin and skinny, long, real long sticks on their hands. So, yep, that's what I got so far. Very cool. So. Oh, it's so much nicer with this fan, but it's probably noisy to you guys, but it sure feels good to me. All right, I think that's probably it. I don't know if I'm going to do any more today. I need to get showered, and it's almost lunchtime. Got to feed the kids some lunch. Until next time, get your hunt on. Alright, so it seems as if the gray stuff is going to work pretty well for mending these pumpkins. This one was broken into three pieces. It's holding together pretty dang good. So, so here I've, it did like this on all the seams. I mean it bubbles out pretty crazy. Um, so I'm just going along here and kind of shaving it down. Uh, and then I'll go back and paint over it. So. Shave all the rest of this down, and that one's fixed. There's another one that's fixed. Man, I bought this orange paint, and it looked like a good color in the store. Here, let me show you guys this. Holy crap! So, this looks, you know, I don't know, it doesn't look super bright right there. It's orange ish, but when you spray it on, man, this is. What's the color on this stupid thing? It says fire orange. Holy smokes. Yeah, it's fire all right. Looks like neon orange. Look at this crap. Holy smokes. I mean, that looks a little different than that, but maybe I'm just, I don't know. Compared to that, yeah, that's a little crazy. So, all right. I'll have to get a different, different orange. More of a burnt, probably more of a burnt orange is what I needed. So well, let me go ahead and get this carved off and see what it looks like. All right, there it is. I just left some of this big thing up here to make more of a stem. It's like it comes up and curves down. I'll paint that separate from the pumpkin, but there it is. Cool, so that's gonna work to repair them. Um, Kind of a pain in the butt if they don't match up exactly right. Like this one, you got to be careful because it it slid over and it slid over on this side, so it's not even. But um, I don't know if I want to tear that apart and maybe readjust it. I don't know. It's probably fine. I guess I could even just add maybe just add more foam here and then sand it down because this side's pretty close. And then add a little foam here and sand it down and maybe do that if they don't fit exactly right. So this one still looks a little goofy, doesn't it? I try it had these big goofy teeth in there. And I was trying to leave some of them to maybe make some fangs, but I don't know, that looks kind of dumb. Alright, now that's it for today, for real. Get your home on.